This is an interesting uh, clip from Donald Trump because his greatest enemy, I'm talking about Lynn Cheney, made the exact same claim uh, several years ago that Donald Trump is going to make in this video. Liz. Liz Cheney, sorry. Um, although Lynn may have made it, I don't know, at the family compound. <laughs> but Liz definitely did in public. Uh, here's Donald Trump uh, reacting to um, the uh, misoprophone uh, um, uh, decision, which happened on Friday. Um, and this is in a recorded video address to the Iowa Faith and Freedom Coalition's spring kickoff. That sounds like mm, fun. I can party time. really very bummed I'm missing <laughs> that. But here is Donald Trump uh, addressing them. Uh, he has gotten a little bit of sun. My administration will again adopt rock solid constitutional conservatives to be federal bench justices and judges, but in the mold of Antonin Scalia and Justice Clarence Thomas, who, by the way, right now is under siege by the radical left. As the most pro life president in American history, I will continue to stand strong against the extreme late term abortionists in the Democrat Party who believe in abortion on demand in the ninth month of pregnancy and even executing babies after birth. They actually talk beyond birth, after birth, executing the baby. This is where we've come, and it's so sad to see. I will stand proudly in defense of innocent life, just as I did for four very powerful, strong years. Because every child, born and unborn, is a sacred gift from God. I will stop Joe Biden's weapon. Not so much, not so much, Tiffany. Um, just to be clear, both the great resistance warrior, Lynn Cheney, Liz, Liz Cheney, and uh, Donald Trump, um, both make the claim that Democrats are in favor of executing mm -hmm. babies. Yep. Baby comes Born right out. babies. Shot out of the, some blue haired woman's body. There's a red dot in the baby's forehead. And that's when, you know, everyone take cover. It's gone. There you go. Yep, there it is. Um, I want to federalize that Sheer policy. insanity. And, you know, here's the thing. They know that their abortion stance is a liability in elections. They will work in many ways they can to suppress votes and to win by minoritarian rule. But they know... This is wildly unpopular, and it, and it literally gets less popular day by day. As more people uh, begin to sort of be aware of the restrictions, and frankly, as the electorate uh, ages out. And they know it's unpopular, so they've got to create, well, it's not just aborting pregnancies, it's executing Babies that are walking around. I mean, pretty soon they're going to be talking about like Democrats. They're trying to execute babies like until the moment that they can talk. Mm, like yes. up until like sometimes 18 months. They're using those Antifa barracks. You know, the ones that were going to hang Mike months. in. Mike in. Who babies. can justify the execution <laughs> of, of a 22-month-old baby? Unbelievable. Unbelievable, these Democrats. I mean, that's where, where it's at. Well, that's why Nancy Mace is freaked out. And she's saying maybe we should uh, not listen to the, the Supreme Court if they ended up siding and, and overturning the FDA. Um, she's in like a Republican plus six, plus seven district. But if Trump's on the ballot and abortion is on the ballot in 2024, they're in deep shit.